I'm from Armenia. We have a proverb that states, how many languages you know, that much of a person you are. Six years ago, a group of faculty approached the university administration to establish a unit that would teach the so-called less commonly taught languages that the university students would not normally have access to in their home institutions. And the goal was to create such a curriculum that would enable students to read sources in these languages within two years which is the duration of the MA program, which we took as the basis for this. And over the years, we expanded our offer into modern languages uh, that are also perhaps less commonly accessible to uh, our students, such as Bosnian, Croatian, Serbian, Russian. Uh, also among the classical languages, we included uh, Syriac, Persian, um, and more recently, uh, modern Hebrew. My experience tells me that uh, reading a text in translation is like uh, having second-hand information about something. And having access to the source language, the text in the original language, is like having an autopsy, having a, a first-hand access to something. And this is confirmed by, by, by the students and by basically everyone who has uh, studied uh, languages. The source language teaching group as its name also indicates, is uh, neither a department nor a research center. It is, uh, however, a quasi-independent unit whose purpose is to provide the skills necessary for the research of our students, because we cannot expect every student to come with perfect knowledge of her, his, source languages. Well, definitely uh, these days, uh, if you want to do uh, history, any sort of historical study professionally, you need to be working with the primary sources. For me, that's Latin, and that's absolutely necessary, both for credibility and also because it opens up your research to a lot of sources that you wouldn't otherwise have, uh, sources that haven't been translated currently. Uh, so for someone who's interested in that, it's absolutely necessary. The language learning at CU is very nice because you meet a lot of international students here at CU and when you start to learn a new language, you, you always want to like talk to the people around CU who are coming from those countries. For example, when I started to learn Arabic, I immediately wanted to speak more with, the, for example, Egyptian students or students from other Arab countries because you really want to engage in more uh, discussion and you want to develop your language. But it, at the same time, it helps you to get to know to another person and another culture. So it was really a good experience for me. I've always been interested in the history and archaeology of the Eastern Mediterranean and the Balkans. So the Turkish was um, an exciting option because uh, it actually it opens entirely new amount of scholarships and articles for you to approach, but also it's an insight to the culture of one of the biggest nations in the region. I have chosen to study here a Syriac language, first of all, because I am interested on the history of uh, Christianity and I am strongly convinced that in order to do good research in this field, you have to learn Latin, ancient Greek and Syriac. I chose to study Arabic at the Source Language Teaching Group because uh, my PhD project is about Turkish and Islamic uh, women's mobilizations. And after I passed my prospectus defense, uh, after the first year of PhD, I saw the need and my professor saw the need that I should learn Arabic because I'm originally Turkish and I speak Turkish language but I also needed to learn at least a bit of Arabic. Universities are cutting back on so-called supplementary studies or language teaching and uh, I've spoken with different students of mine who actually have chosen CEU to study because uh, CEU offers different kinds of source courses and source materials including teaching languages that, for example, students of history would need. Language qualifications, adaptability and intercultural awareness can really increase your employability. I'm really convinced that learning languages is learning a different way of thinking and learning ancient languages is a really exotic enterprise because you are uh, learning the minds and the ways of thinking of ancient people quite far from us culturally and historically. 
What I experience and what I observe in others as well is that learning ancient languages develops a critical thinking and it enables you to look at your own culture and your own life from a totally different angle. By now we see concrete results of the work of the Source Language Teaching Unit because our students are able to not only do cutting-edge research in the languages that they need, uh, but also to be uh, uh, competitive, uh, get places in best PhD programs and um, compete for uh, higher profile jobs in, in different sectors. I have many students who, whom I taught Arabic and now they speak Arabic, they write, read everything and they, I'm, I'm very happy to look at them. So this is a priceless thing, this is a priceless feeling. I'm not teaching it because of anything else, just because I love it. What I like most is the atmosphere that we have and the fun we have during the classes. This is much more important than any success.